What's up guys? It's Sunday. It's that 2013 and if you would have asked me a long time ago, hey, would I still be doing YouTube and doing all this stuff, I'd be like, wow, you still doing that? Blade or Brian. There's um in the movie Boogie Nights, there's this part where he's looking in the mirror and it's really odd because I tend not to look in the mirror. It's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. I like to have my perspective from what how I see the world, but like I tend to not to do a whole lot of looking at myself just because I know that I'm not doing what I'm supposed to and I'm just kind of like ignorance is bliss and all that kind of stuff. But there's this part in the movie Boogie Nights where he's standing there and he is uh he's basically trying to as Dirk Diggler He's trying to figure out how to become the, the the Rocco badass guy that Mark Wahlberg plays in the movie. So it's Dirk Diggler trying to become I believe his name is Rocco. And but really his his he's Eddie. And Eddie is trying to become Dirk Diggler. And Mark Wahlberg is trying to become Eddie. Eddie becomes Dirk Diggler, Dirk Diggler becomes him, and it's just like this kind of facade or or character that he plays and it's really interesting on YouTube because I like you guys know me as Blade occasionally I kind of let you you in on on Rizzo now what Rizzo is Rizzo is my last name and that's how like people back home that's how people kind of know me like as the character of Rizzo and every once in a while I will I will let a couple people in on Brian, but I don't like doing that. I really don't enjoy doing that because, you know, by by showing people who I really am, it kind of leaves me vulnerable, and I'm not taking care of everything. Anyway, so there's a lot of correlations between me being um, me being Blade, me being Rizzo, me being Brian. And a lot of times, I don't like letting people in on being Brian. It's kind of crazy, I know. So, fuck. You're about to do your show, huh? Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, Scott came home, and he has a weekly show that he likes to do. And so, I had to get off the computer. And so, he can do his, uh, his live stream show activities. And now I'm back to caress your mind with some Sunday thoughts. But what I was kind of talking about with the multiple levels of, you know, who you are and how you present yourself and the whole idea of looking in the mirror, which is something I don't really tend to do too often, just because I, like I said, I like, I like to keep my perspective from my point of view to try to kind of figure it out. And um, I, I never judge people. Uh, for the simple fact that I haven't walked in their shoes, and I don't know what their, you know, I don't know all their information. I don't know how they came to how they are, and I'm not one to judge someone. I just always kind of keep in mind that it's my journey, I guess you should say. Uh, that that's more, that's more what I'm focused on. It seems a little selfish. What I was talking about earlier, if you look at the, we're making that the the you know whacking off in the mirror scene. You know, correlation between Mark Wahlberg playing a kid to playing Dirk Diggler to playing Rocco the Badass or whatever. Um, my my levels, like I said, were uh, I'm Brian. I put off a, not a facade, but just like a character of Rizzo, um, and then and Blade. And it's really really weird that I tend not to I show. And everything I do, I'm, I'm me. I don't want you guys to think that this is like the fake me or whatever. Like, I'm too lazy to be anybody else. But at the same time, there's different levels. And I have a hard time getting to that part where people tend to know me, Brian. Because I... I don't know. Maybe it's a fear that if you were to get to know me, 
that you would people tend to kind of get attached to me and it's it's not good and then also at the same time I think that there's a part of me that kind of goes you know I'm kind of I don't want to say fucked up but like I'm kind of like a realist and also um I had a conversation with a girlfriend at the time and I and I asked that we were, we were talking about different things or whatever and I kind of have an attitude that I'm better than everyone else and she was like, yeah, it just kind of comes off as cocky or arrogant or asshole-ish. And then, but this may hurt people's fucking feelings, but like, there's a lot of shitty people in the world. And there's a lot of points where everyone has a good side. Everyone has those shining moments that you can go, oh, that person's a, a, a really well-rounded individual. But it, it's it's the accumulation of all that stuff. Like, you can't be... You can't be an asshole and then, like, 10% of the time be a fucking super swell dude. That means you're an asshole that can act like a nice guy. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I have a, a high standard of living. I have a high expectation out of life. And I do have goals, even though I'm kind of scared of growing up or whatever, but at the same time, there's like some people that, you know, maybe they're pieces of shit, you know? Is it bad for me to say that? Is it bad for me to to do that? I don't even let people know because like people, if you tell someone that they're a piece of shit when they are, what good is that going to make? It's not like they're going to listen to it. They're just going to take it as you're hating on them, if that kind of makes sense. But what's wrong with, with telling people that you're better than them? Even though a lot of those people are like, well, you're just not in a good place or whatever. And you, so you want to hate on me. It's just like, you ever notice that the, you ever notice when people don't have their own shit in order, they seem to always want to try to fix other people. I'm like, why don't you just fix yourself, bro? I don't know. I've just kind of noticed that a lot from people. I never want to give you guys advice because I'm, I'm not the guy to get advice from. All I can do is give you the insight. What, like, if you imagine the game of life is like, I've been playing it, you know, like a game, and you want to look at mine, my life as a playthrough, don't. Because I'm not getting the best score, and I'm not doing, you know, the uh, the best time trial or whatever. So, I can give you some insight. Maybe you can use bits and pieces, but don't, but don't just assume that what I'm doing is the proper kind of right thing. When, when I say that I'm better than other people, and that, that, that's not me being cocky, or whatever, but that but that's an honest opinion that I do feel that I'm better than people. But at the same time, like I have a kind of a, a fear of of growing up. You know what I mean? Like I have a fear of of you know letting go of my childhood. And I've talked about this a million times before about the Peter Pan syndrome. But like at the same time, I want to make sure that everything is kosher, everything is copacetic, and maybe that's why I don't give advice on telling people how to live their life, because I'm living mine, if that kind of makes sense. I know it seems kind of depressed, and I am a little depressed. Buffalo, where I'm living, sucks. It, it honestly, like the, the, the weather sucks. The the quality of people that I've met here. Like, I, re I really find it funny. Like, I've talked to someone. They're just like, yeah, you know, Buffalo might not be the greatest greatest city. And it might, you know, might be like a drinking town or whatever. But the quality of people here are good. I'm like, no, they're not. You're, you're not. Like, I don't know. I don't like where I'm currently at. I don't like where I'm... As like far as location wise, I don't like the, I don't like the people that I chose to associate with, um, and I think that they want me around just because I don't know why. I don't know why. I I find that I, I just don't know. I, I don't have any knowledgeable answers I don't have any knowledgeable outlooks on stuff because I'm still trying to fucking figure it out my damn self 
And so it's a little unfair that I know that you guys kind of come here and you guys want to see Blade and you want to hear me say super fast mode ah, and sit down and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just not in that mode lately. Like, just not. You know what I mean? Like, uh, when I went back to Seattle, I went back to Seattle for my birthday, right? And had a good time. I got to meet up with a lot of friends and I have a lot of really, really, really close friends and people I, I like love, not, not in a homo way, but like people I actually really, really love. But when I went there, I was like, I've kind of already conquered this place. And when I moved to Buffalo it was because I wanted to change a scenery, but this isn't the change I need. This isn't the change I want. Also in the back of my mind, I know that you can pick up and you can move cross country and you can change your actual location. But all you're doing is just changing the backdrop. You're not actually changing the character. So if you look like if you look at your location as like a green screen, it's easy just to flip it. You know what I mean? But if I were to go to like say Florida or the Bahamas or wherever, I'm still gonna be me. And I'm still going to have these things that I have to work out. And psychologically, as well as physically, I'm a lazy person. I'd rather put off that idea. So, now we're where we're at, you know? I'm, I never want to talk about money, but like I'm doing well in that part of it. But I've never been concerned about the money just for the simple fact that I feel blessed that I can do this and make income. And now I have the power of the freedom and the time to do whatever I want. I've taken some of that and I've been doing the gym thing and I'm not going to keep on talking about the gym stuff. But like at the same time, like I feel kind of pissed that I'm not taking advantage of doing what I should be doing with this free time that this YouTube stuff allows me to do. So I'm going to go on the treadmill and think about it and ponder it. This is your Sunday Chill commentary kind of all over the place, but that's where my brain's at right now. Peace and buckaroos.